Hello, my friend. Welcome to another showdown live. Today we're going into Enu. I need to do some Enu practice. I haven't all like played Enu at all this gen, so I think I want to learn Enu as well as Ru too, right? Uh, so last time we did a showdown live on Ru, and now I want to do one in Enu. And this is a team bait by Gino, you know, from my Discord server. And uh, you know, we've been knowing for quite a bit. Uh, during the years, right, in different communities and, and you know, st stream, uh, Twitch streams and such. So he's uh, he's always been around. So it's nice that he, you know, gave me a team as well. He gave me a couple of teams from Menu, so we're going to try them eventually. Uh, but uh, today we are running with this team. And this team is cool. You know, it is a grassy terrain team and it's actually legal in Menu. I think terrain was banned on the lower tiers, if I'm not wrong. And basically, you know, this is the team that we got. We have to use terrain in Enu, which I think is neat. I you know I love using terrain. Uh, so, how do we start with Incineroar? Incineroar is going to be, uh, you know, a bulky spadev set, but with Swords Dance. So that's gonna help us break some of the slow, bulky uh, other, uh, you know, walls, right? And uh, we've got the Terra Fairy to make it a tef intimidating fairy. You know, to transform this cat into a dog, you know, into a gramble, but has SD, then has U-turn. Uh, SD U-turn is nothing, is, you know, a combination that I don't usually use, but uh, it has its uses, right? Uh, sometimes you just want momentum, sometimes you need to break, so. And then dual stamp, right? Nothing that uh, special about it. We got Terra Steel Flygon. Uh, it's a special Flygon, actually, and it gets the Stealth Rocks up on this team. And then it seems that he just uses Draco Meteor, Earth Power, and Fire Blast. Why put U-turn on this when you can Draco Meteor and Jack's back? You know what I'm saying? Much better. <laughs> uh, the coverage with um, with the special set actually hits pretty, pretty hard, right? Because the moves do a lot of damage, right? The base power is normally higher, especially Draco Meteor, than... Uh, then instead of average, and you don't have to get locked into it, right? So it has it has its its special situations. I think uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Grassy Seed Espion, you know, max HP, almost max speed, a bit of defense to give an extra bulk with the Grassy Seed that gives plus one defense on the Grassy Terrain, and uh, we got the recovery here, Calm Mindset, and uh, Self Healing, right, with uh, Morning Sun, and then Stored Power once we got all the stats. Uh, this thing could be very dangerous if we get it to, to work, so I'm excited. It's been quite a bit since I've used Espeon, so this is good. We got a Klefki with a red card, uh, we got the Foul Play, you know, set, we set up Spox, and we get Recycle the red card, so look at these sets, dude, these the sets are fire. <laughs> uh, we got the Foul Play, you know, just to hit something, Don't, so we're not just full on um, Setup Father, right? Uh, foul Play is always good for a defensive mod with a Terra Water too. Just in case we we'll get hit by incinerous fire types, and then we can, uh, you know, set up free spikes, uh, recycle the red card again, and make it, you know, make him go away. So all good. The terrain mon is going to be uh, grassy surge Thwaki. thwaki has got the wood hammer, very strong. Glassy glide, very strong, especially with adamant, right? And boosted by the grassy terrain and the choice band. Using for momentum and then knockoff. And one of the other sweepers is going to be grassy seed drift gleam with a burden. I haven't used drift gleam as well in a long time, and I kind of want to use it with Terra. Drift gleam is so much better now that we have Terra. And it's another call mine user. So it's a double call mine team here. Um, we know we've got the shadow ball and then Terra blast, which is either going to be normal. Shadow and normal is just usually good coverage, or if we transform into a fighting time, you know, uh, ghost and fighting is also excellent coverage. So, um, this is it, you know, this is the team. Uh, I didn't change any of the nicknames, Incinerator does not have one, but we're gonna leave it blood here. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how it goes, you know. This is my training for for Enu, because I almost haven't played Enu this gen, so yeah, I'm making a team here, but I don't know how to, how to do it. But I'm excited, you know. Grassy terrain. You know, I love using terrains and stuff like that, so. This is gonna be good, you know. So it seems like we got webs. Okay. Okay, okay. Do I have hazard removal on this team? I don't really have hazard removal. Interesting. 
Very interesting. Okay, these things usually go for Spore immediately. Right? Guess with the Porygon Z. That's not what we want to see, is it? Need to remember the sets, though. Better. See, this is Pedef, so... I guess Clefie can Kanda switch in. We got tricked. Oh no. That's so sad. So now we are Specs Klefki. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, instead of one spike then. Uh, I'm going to do on directly. Yeah, this is good. A little risky switch, but... Oh, he goes for the Steel type, okay. He doesn't know about Magic Bounce though, so this is kind of great. We have plus one defense. He cannot put us to sleep either. Let's try to go for one Calm Mind. How dumb of me. It happens. Alright. Do we want to Terra Fairy this? Or do we want to keep the Terra for this later on? I don't think I need to Terra Fairy yet. It will be pretty good if I do it though. Because he has to bomb us, right? There we go. And we're faster? Oh yeah, we're one point faster. That's probably why the EV is. I think Espion is gonna do it. <laughs> we still need to beat Cresselia though, but... We have draining kits, right? Swamper shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, it's over. GG. Free setup for Espion. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. That's a good start. On the NU training montage, I guess. The training arc. <laughs> Very weird turns in which we had to, at the beginning, right? Try to to see what the opponent was thinking was doing. But we got Aspion in pretty quickly, so that's nice. And I, w I got a little worried when we got Klefki tricked. But in the end, it all seemed to be working pretty well, you know? Good stuff. Espion already, you know, in the first battle just got a sweep, pretty much. I guess we had to do a, a 1v1 versus Cresselia, but um, with stored power and, you know, recovery from from Draining Kiss? Oof, that's magical. Diabolical. Okay, let me pause it until we find someone, because it's pretty early... Uh, well, not only, but in Spain, it's not like a, there's not Americans playing at the moment, I would say. So, let's pause it until I find someone. Okay, we got another one. Scary stuff, but I think Espion is really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Espion is quite nice. I'm gonna lead with this again. This is pretty good. And I kind of want to get rocks up. Like, Tentacrawl, it could be a switching, but... Like, I would go for a... Oh my god, he has a crit. That's pretty sad. Like, this is probably scarfed, is it? Well, maybe not. Okay, so I'm special, so he doesn't know. As you can see, we're gonna lose the Flygon, but he lost so much HP from this, right? And now we could spin block with this. Go for a... I guess we could try to kill quick, right? Can we? Just the call mine is nice if he like if he recovers, it's not that bad. But he does have this, so no point in setting up, right? May as well to just do a little bit of damage. That's pretty good damage. Okay. We have to keep this for sure. Right, we go Clef Keep, maybe set up some spikes. Damage Storm is annoying, and that he got. That's good, actually. That is good. I don't want to recycle. Get out of here. Oh, that doesn't work like that. Okay, that's unfortunate. Thunder Punch. Okay. They go for one last spike? I think so. Putting pressure on that tentacle, right? I'm gonna stop the pressure right now, with knockoff. Sadly he stayed, but he doesn't have the AV no more. My boots! Yeah, 
Yeah, this is fine. We remove the buck. Excellent. Here comes the ape. It's gonna U turn. That's fine. CC. Oh boy. We got the terrain. I'm going for Drifling, right? I'm, I want him to stay here. So I have to do that. Oh, overhead. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. That's good, that's good. We have a lot of speed and power right now, so. And now we do this. Clear body blocks it. We still get the recovery, which is the important part, and we resist, so. Uh, now we start cooking, right? This Shadow Ball has to kill. We did 30% now, we're pretty much, much strong. Oh, I didn't kill. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, he can go into the pouring now. Which is unfortunate. Does this matter though? Do I need to keep this that much? No. I'm gonna sack it. See if we can leave one hit. Because we have plus ones per death. <sighs> of course. Okay, we sack this. I think I want to U-turn here. Oh, he stayed. Oh, he kills me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's not that bad. That's not that bad, actually. He outspeeds the monkey, right? Oh, is this scuffed? What is this? Okay, nice. Oh, I should have morning sound. Yeah, he was scuffed. I don't think I had much chances then. If I morning sound, maybe. But, uh... I just didn't think he would just stay in. But he did. Okay, I think I, think I should have recovered there. I just never click recovery moves and I should have. Uh, I don't know, maybe. That was like 50% damage, anyways. Flush risking status. But draining kills didn't do shit, anyways. So I guess that was my only out. But would have been not that possible, to be honest. Also, I was hoping that draining kills would do more damage, to be honest. Ow. <laughs> I hit my, my elbow on the table. <laughs> okay, that's an unfortunate battle, but I, I could play that egg game a little better, I think. But the chances were pretty grim with Scarf uh, Porygon, to be honest. Uh, so, that's fine. That's a, that's a good learnage. Need to play a little slower. And uh, we'll see what, what's the next opponent. Okay, what do we got here? Some funky stuff, I like it. I think I like... Uh, it has a lot of potential leads, honestly. Bloom, Bronzong, and Golem are like potential leads. What... Or this to just spam like eruptions, right? Pretty scary. I think I like... Honestly, though, I like Incineroar against most of them. Because if it's the Golem, we can Uta, right? It could be max speed, actually. If, it, if it's a lead, but I kind of want to break the thing. Okay, good. That wor that worked. That works. And we resist the dual stab with our steel type with this, and we start setting up the spikes in which he has not much to play against. Body slam. Okay. Oh, we already got this injured. Do we need to paralyze this and lose this. I could also tear on water, but I like the steel for, for Braviary. I want to try to switch it in Cedar Like Eruptions will steal hurt, but they're not full power. Okay, you just click it moves. They just win. Oh, could have SD'd. Okay. Now we know that this Typhlosion has protect for some reason. Okay, he's just learning. He's just learning on the land. That's fine. Me too, to be honest. <laughs> Me too. I go back against the Klefki. It's Roost, okay. That's unfortunate. Let me recycle the red card, because it's funny. Oh, he's default on this, okay. Let's set up another spike here. Right, and now, look at this. Now I'm going to Espion on the rocks. Rock polish, shit! 
No, 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 no. Okay, he doesn't have an attack boost. It's not a lead golem. It's a rock polish one. Uh, he's faster than me now, though. Good for set of rocks, to be honest. But this has sturdy, exactly. There's the plus attack. Do I need flag on that match? Oh, he just sacks it. Okay. <laughs> that is pretty fun. Not gonna lie. Okay, Braviary should come in, I think, to try to defog this. Exactly. So I'm gonna paralyze it, to be honest. I don't really need to de deal with this, right? And let's do damage. Look at this 47%, I uh, 43%. Keep pressure, right? There we go. Oh, and then we got it back because we got the red card again. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm gonna try to T wave this. There we go. <laughs> the yellow magic. I'll try to recycle once again. I'm not sure if it works if I die. I'd be curious to know. No. I'm learning about red cards to be honest. Okay, Thwacky time, baby. We smack him. That's not a switching. I'm a banded Thwacky. You should die. Yeah. <laughs> On the Braviary. We have this opportunity to set up right now. And win, maybe? Not sure, but... We sure can set up Call Mines for real on this roost. And then, you don't think... Maybe you have a flying booth. We'll see now. Dual wing bit, there we go. Now, I know this thing has the fine, so maybe... Yeah, maybe going for... Let's go for regular Terror Blast first, do some damage. And we'll live, right? So... I think Driftblim is just uh, ready. You know, we can get, uh, no need to get strength up, right? Maybe he's Sash though. Nope, he's dead. No, we're not weak to, to ice and he got paralyzed anyway. So we're cooking now. Look at that damage. Yeah, they didn't do enough. It's over, Drivloom win. Nice. Very nice. GG. Okay. He, he was learning though. But I am learning too, you know. I don't even know what the mods do in Enu. I don't know much about the Enu tier. Apart from the content that I watch. But uh, from Rabia especially. And, and Pyro. But, uh, you know. I'm learning myself too. It, it, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So far, so good. I like the team. I like it, I like it. So far, the sweepers, right, that are like putting in the work. And I, I could have put more work with Espeon in the previous battle. Well, in the, the previous one than the previous one. So that's not bad at all. We'll see how we continue after this one. Bro. I'm gonna pause it until we'll find someone else. Ooh. Monkey Dory. Hell yeah. Twaki lead I like. Oh, he could be monkey lead, but I have Clive key. Okay, let's do that. Roar lead. I don't think Incineroar are usually max speed, but I don't think I want to find out yet. Right? So let's just go Incineroar myself. Start knockoffing. As he's doing to myself. Deed. <laughs> The Incineroar standoff. Smacked. There we go. No boots on the gastro. Okay. Boots getting knocked off left and right. You can see it. There goes the ice beam. And that critical hit skills me. Alright, buddy. That's cool. That's very nice. 
guess we try to beat the Incineroar. 1v1. With the fairy type. Yeah, I don't think this would do anything to me. That's okay. That does no damage though. Yeah. Okay, we just need to do a lot of damage here. I could have done way more with this. That's good, I guess. God damn. Yeah. Nice rocks. Okay. Oh, he lived. What? <sighs> okay, we lost this one for sure. We don't have terrain anymore either, so that sucks. To be honest, though. Without the speed, this kind of can do it. And actually, now I have the speed. What? And now I have Spadev. Okay, okay. I can set up on this in Cedar, actually. That is not too bad. Plus one per death for the Espeon, I guess. I outspeed the Espeon, though. I mean, he's gonna Terra if he brings it, right? But still, I think shitty. Terra Dark against uh, a Fighting? I guess he could do mind games, though. That's the Espeon. He's Terra Fairies, that's fine. Well, that does no damage, though. Because it's a special GG. Man, that was so unfortunate that there's a lift on one. My incinerator was the, the thing that I needed for this Aspia. <laughs> Kinda. GG. I know. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lost Wacky to the crit too early, too. That was not a very lucky battle. Flygon is good. Too high for this shit. <laughs> It's 420 though. <laughs> Typhlosion. He knows about my jackpot. Incineroar is too easy to reach. I'm getting rocks up. Do I need to get up rocks from that early? It's kind of good to be honest. It's fine. I think going into Incineroar is actually quite nicer. This Pokemon would be better in this tier if it wasn't for the prevalence of Incineroar in any I feel. It's like a mod that, that's like easy to use. Alright? But maybe I'm wrong. That's the eruption. Doesn't do shit. Because we are Spadef indeed. And now we can knock off something. Right, this team is not very good to deal with knockoff users, honestly. Grimsnarl cannot um, do prankster shenanigans as long as we're a dark type. Okay, okay. Cinder are really good against this team. Now we're gonna get it weakened though, unfortunately. I'm gonna put a little bit of timer because uh, my man here is playing a little bit too slow, right? There we go. Let's see what kind of, you know, black glasses. That is a little scary. Maybe a U turn. No, he doesn't know about the pranks for I knew that. I knew that, you know. Okay. I really like the hazards, to be honest. Yes. Let's get him up. One hazard is good, and I think Clefki is fine against this. I kind of want to go for Spike to be honest, because I have the red card. Don't 
Does Flygon get Defog? I don't think it gets Defog nowadays. He can set off, he can set off. That would be crazy. I just click foul play. He has to attack right now with Earthquake. That does not leave though. That's bad. that's fine. I don't care. Now we use on just in case he subs. We got two spikes on Cleffy, that's not that bad. Yeah, good, good. Do we try to break this? I think so. I think this is the best because this thing is gonna be our own defense, right? So I want him to stay in, try to set up. Maybe we can do shot now. Oof. Okay, that's good, that's good. Keep going with this. I go for rocks actually? Yes. Like, rocks will stay. Unfortunately, he stayed to attack me more, which sucks. But we can we could 1v1 this red steel. Yeah, that's fine. I wonder if he was expecting SP on there. Oh my god, come on, these rolls, man! That's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it happens. <laughs> Do I care if he goes into Flygon? No, because this will die on switching, so don't need to predict anything. Earth power 42, earth power 42, 39, 39, that's the remaining HP that he had though. <clears throat> we still leave rocks, so this is worth keeping, maybe. For what though? To speed tie against the Flygon? Or do some damage to Grimms now, but if he was black glasses, maybe he has Sucker Punch, right? I don't think this is worth keeping, actually. There's the monkey, his boots, so he should outspeed me. Uh, do we just die? I don't have a steel type, so yeah. Okay, now we go this. Could've just swapped that in, actually. That sucks, that didn't happen. But we could have a like very powerful knockoff, and then you turn on the Grims now, too. So you know what? That's not that bad. We can eat this, right? Destroy this monkey. There we go. We still have boots, so this does live. This does live, indeed. See what, I'm trying to think what kind of, like, setup could be better. Maybe with Espeon to prevent Grimms not to T-wave me, right? Porygon has too much HP though, but we have the hazards. It is a bit scary. Right, here comes the Flygon, takes a little bit of chip. Just gonna knock off here. That's an unfortunate miss. No loaded dice. Is this worth it at the moment? I think it is. Awesome. Now we go this. Just gonna hit priority moves, to be honest. Yeah. Nice, nice. You don't see him choice bandit. I'm gonna go and sacrifice Incineroar now. See what moves he locks himself into. Flamethrower, okay. And I think we wanna go Espeon, right? One combined. We should be faster. I think this is like choice, but I think it's specs maybe. So after one call mine, we're pretty bulky. We could live. Maybe. Oof, not even close. Well, he did terror though. I don't think I have enough 
to live, but I outspeed this, so... Let's try it. That's my only, like, way of doing it. I need to live this somehow. There we go. Let's see how much we can recover. Oh, wait, the attack is halved! Fuck! I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Ah, oh, come on. I forgot that the attack was shaft. GG. That was a mistake. God damn it. Ah, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I want to finish one with not without doing mistakes. Okay. Do you have hazard removal? You do. The general relief is pretty good though. Oh yeah, especially if you give the give me this so quick. I'll attack this, dude. If I can kill this quick, we get hazards quick. I can work on this. Although I do need this for Cresselia. No, we could beat Cresselia brute force, right? Okay, knock off this. There we go. No more boots. We got knocked off ourselves. I want to SD to get the attack advantage. There we go. I have to bring Vaporeon, which I can also knock off, do a lot of damage. Why is he faster? Is this supposed to be faster? 121. No. So he has speed. <laughs> okay. That means this is gonna hurt. Kinda wanna do something here. Got rocks. Here comes the crest. Can we just uh, get out of there? We just some damage here with the eject pack. There we go. And we go into this, right? We have the the red card, right? So. If you can paralyze this right now. Okay. He didn't do shit anyways. I wanna get a one spike. There we go. Okay. Do we do... What do we do here? He has to go for the ground move? Let's try to play this way. Newton, okay. That's fine. Newton we take pretty well too. So that will force Incineroar or Meloetta. Okay. Maloeta did take Rob's damage, which is sick. Let's go Klefki. We can get the red cards just in case he's set up. There he goes. Got the Vaporeon on the switch in. Fantastic. Now we'll go to Thwaki. Hopefully we don't get burned with the Scald. Maybe he recovers. That's Wish. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine though, because the Incineroar has no boots. So, this is going to put so much pressure on him. In fact, it should kill it. Bonk. Nice. We're not gonna allow this to spin at all. I don't care if he, like, attacks me on the switch and I have plus one defense. Right? This is okay. Excellent. I think Drifter looks pretty neat right now. Oh, no, 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 buddy. Now you can spin, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Sorry about skipping. You got your spin. That's true. <laughs> but uh, spin was not a priority there. Although maybe he couldn't do much to be honest against this. Oh my god, dude. The damage. Okay. We did half of the team's damage, that's fine. We still have the Espeon, so... We keep the terrain, we keep the terrain. Now we foul play for sure. Kill Maloetta or anything. I did no damage, brother. Let's 
Psyshock, okay. huh? Hell yeah. Dude. I'm hammering that wood, you know. Kinda wanna knock off this to be honest. Yeah, that's good. No cobalt bear. Oh, that cobalt bear got knocked off. Okay, now we go into Klefki. Oh, I still have my red card. That's awesome. Okay, let me paralyze this then. There we go. There we go, we caught him again. Okay, okay. Let's weaken the sand slash. Oh my god, there we go, dude. Maybe not actually. That's fine. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now we go for this and the you know the grassy glider is looking pretty sweet. I'm probably just do this actually, because this is offensive. Critical Okay. That does suck, to be honest. That's good, that's good. Moonlight Psy Shark, okay. Alright, Espeon. You know? What draining keys on the switch to fly gone? <laughs> that's how I do it, baby! Okay. Still not over, but. Let me try to morning sun, see? I was expecting some bullshit. <laughs> I could've just kept call mining. I don't know what he's clicking this boost for. I mean, I don't know why he's not clicking knockoff. I mean, I guess he couldn't do that much damage. I have speed. Yes! And he's paralyzed, and I am not, so... Once you get paralyzed, we win. I think. Yeah, look at that. It's brutal. Let's go. Okay, we fixed the mistakes and we actually played super well. An eye shark crit almost messed me up. Jesus Christ. Okay. That was rough, you know? And it was difficult, so I'm glad I, I, I started playing a little bit. Uh, I love this team, this thing was great fun to use. The Drift Bloom and Espeon, of course, carrying the team on his back with the sweet pink capabilities, right? What, you know, one of the two either sweep the whole team or sweep half a team, and then the other one sweeps the other rest of the half team, so fantastic. Uh, so thank you, Gina, for your team, thank you guys for watching. That's about it, you know, let's keep on with the series on the channel, and uh, I hope you guys had fun with this video. I love you all, I'll see you soon. Goodbye!